Amphibious vehicles are machines that can travel on both land and water, and in this case, at very high speeds. From an ATV that can transform into a water vehicle, to a motor-powered bike that can transform into a jet ski, and to a sports car that can transform into a speedboat, these are the coolest amphibious vehicles in the world. Atlas ATV We have the Atlas ATV, a Ukrainian-built amphibious ATV that was designed for efficiency. And though it only boasts an output power of around 90 horsepower, according to the creators of the Atlas, this was to allow their vehicle to have a longer lifespan without requiring much maintenance. That being said, the low specifications do hold the ATV back when it comes to its speed in the water, with the Atlas topping out around 4.3 knots. The Atlas ATV has room for up to 12 passengers and was designed with enough ground clearance to help it travel over even the roughest terrain before hitting the water. And it was specifically designed to be driverable by anyone who has the ability to drive a car with no special training needed. The ATV comes equipped with four-wheel drive and thrives on all terrain from ice to sand to water. Shaman 8x8 this amphibious vehicle was designed and manufactured in Russia and comes equipped with various state-of-the-art driving systems. It was constructed to be able to withstand and function properly in all weather conditions and in all types of terrain. The Shaman 8x8 measures 6.3 meters long and comes equipped with a diesel engine that provides the ATV with 170 horsepower. The amphibious ATV is able to travel at speeds of 44 miles per hour on land. However, that slows down to a whopping 3.7 knots on the water. The vehicle itself weighs a total of 4.8 tons and can carry up to 12 passengers at a time. The Iguana Commuter The Iguana Commuter is an amphibious boat that can be launched into the water at any time, regardless of the tides. The tracks on the vehicle were specifically designed to allow the Iguana Commuter to travel over flat, sandy, or rocky terrain with ease making traveling on land no problem at all. The Iguana Commuter is equipped with twin Mercury engines that allow it to reach top speeds of up to 45 knots. And for comfortability purposes, the Amphibian comes with mitigating memory seats that allow the driver to enjoy a smooth ride from any seating position. The cabin inside of the vessel itself is separated from the rest of the commuter by an electrical door and is spacious enough for up to two people to relax and sleep comfortably. Fibian. Built by Gibbs Amphibians, the Fibian is a high-speed vessel that was designed and manufactured in the UK. It was created specifically to be able to navigate around difficult areas that normal four-wheel vehicles wouldn't typically be able to maneuver through, including water or thick mud. The Fibian has been used for rescue missions, as well as police operations. It has a quick transition period from land to water that only takes a few seconds, and thanks to its twin-turbo V8 diesel engines, speed will never be a problem. The Fibian is able to reach speeds of up to 110 kilometers, or 62 miles per hour on land, and travel in the water at around 27 knots. It has room for up to 15 passengers and can carry a maximum weight of 1.5 tons. Rin Speed Splash up next, we have the Rinspeed Splash. There is nothing quite like driving a luxury car on the water. And thanks to Rinspeed, that's possible. The Splash is a concept amphibious vehicle that's made up of ultra-light carbon composite skin that allows it to maintain buoyancy while out on the water. It was designed with a hydrofoil style so that when it hits the water, the Splash could reach speeds of up to 45 knots like it was nothing. And on land, you would be practically flying as the car reaches its top speed of 120 miles per hour, which is all thanks to the 750cc two-cylinder turbocharged engine. The Rinspeed Splash was officially unveiled at the 2004 Geneva Motor Show and has since been featured on the hit show Top Gear. Storm MPV Now, let's take a look at the Storm MPV. This hybrid amphibious vehicle was designed in the United Arab Emirates and was specifically created to help with military operations in any environment, on all terrains, including water. The Storm MPV has room for up to six passengers who will fit all quite comfortably. 
This high-performance vehicle comes equipped with two electric motors that are assisted by a single diesel-powered engine, providing the storm with a total of 2,500 horsepower. Thanks to that, the hybrid vehicle can reach a top speed of 140 kilometers, or 87 miles per hour on land, and in the water, it boasts a speed of 16.1 knots. This massive floating beast weighs a total of 8 tons and measures a length of 5.9 meters and has been proven to be able to face waves that are over 1.5 meters high. Gibbs Kwatsky Up next we have the Kwatsky by Gibbs, who used more than 300 patents to bring this beast to life. The Quadski is a revolutionary ATV that, on the surface, looks just like a normal quad. But as soon as it hits the water, the Quadski's wheels ascend and angle themselves as the ATV turns seamlessly into a jet ski. All the driver has to do is drive into the water, at which point the Quadski will begin to float and the wheels will begin to retract. Within a total of five seconds, the rider will be ready to take off. Gibbs also designed their Quadski with speed in mind, and because of that, their amphibian boasts an amazing speed of 38 knots while in the water, and 44 miles per hour on land. And in case you weren't aware, that's the same speed on land as it is in water, which is practically unheard of in amphibious vehicles, most of which lose a lot of their speed when transitioning into the water. Panther Water Car the H1 Panther water car looks like a standard H1 Hummer. That is until it hits the water. That's when it transforms into one of the most comfortable and smooth cruising boats on the water. The Panther brings a brand new meaning to off-roading when it comes to the H1, as it drives off the land and into the water with a transition that takes no time at all. Unlike the typical H1, the Panther was constructed out of mainly aluminum parts and mods that make it seaworthy while also maintaining its strong and sturdy structure. And like most Humvees, the doors and the roof on the amphibious vehicle are interchangeable or can simply be removed altogether. On land, the Panther is able to maintain highway speeds and in the water it boasts a travel speed of around 35 knots, which isn't bad at all. It comes with 35-inch mud tires and has a ground clearance of 10 inches, allowing the vehicle to travel on almost all surfaces, thus living up to the H1 name. Gibbs Bisky. Up next, we have another amazing amphibious vehicle by Gibbs, the Bisky. Just as it sounds, the Bisky is a combination of a motor-powered bicycle and a jet ski, which allows the rider to transition from land to water without any issues along their journey. The scooter runs on a twin-cylinder engine that provides the Bisky with 55 horsepower, and while it's on land, it acts like a normal moped would. But by simply driving the Bisky into the water and pushing a single button, the scooter transitions into a jet ski by retracting the rear wheel, just like that. On land, the Bisky is capable of reaching speeds of around 80 miles per hour, and it's able to maintain a decent speed in the water as well, with its engine allowing it to reach 26 knots. U Hack. Last but not least, let's take a look at the Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector or U Hack, one of the strangest looking but most efficient amphibious vehicles owned by the U.S. military. The U-Hack was developed by the United States Marine Corps for the specific purpose of carrying heavy equipment such as vehicles, cargo, and even troops to and from shore. It was built with tank-like treads that support it and allow it to drive on both land and in water. The treads are made up of material that contain captured air foam cells that guarantee the amphibious vehicle maintains buoyancy while out in the water. The U-Hack can even use its tracks to climb over obstructions that stand up to 3 meters tall and traverse over all sorts of terrain. Despite its massive size and weight, the U-Hack can reach a speed of up to 19.9 knots while in the water, even at full cargo capacity. 